So this would be called emotional coping as you are using the living things around you. Here's me petting my dog. So hanging out with your animals. Next is instrumental coping. So using the things around you, getting involved in your hobbies, and making helping that make you feel better. Cooking is another example of instrumental coping, whereas you are using the things around you. Um, I would also say that eating is in that category. One of the coping mechanisms my therapist recommended to me a couple of years ago is called a comfort box. In the box, you are supposed to cover the five senses. So smell, a candle and some lotion the other one is hearing but I forgot my headphones in this video for touch I've got this rock found at a convention and sight so this is the book that I'm currently reading I also don't have any sweets available, but I would usually add some sort of chocolate. Another way is cognitive refraining, reframing, or mental reframing. And that looks like, say, if I think, why am I here? Why am I in this situation? You could instead think, how could this situation benefit me? What can I learn from this situation? So it's reframing the question so you have more of a positive outlook. So I actually own one and it really helps me. It feels like a hug, but weighted blankets can make it feel like a hug. They can make you feel more comforted and grounded. And when you're kind of freaking out, that's something good to have. Another coping technique is deep breathing. One breathing technique is the 478 breathing technique. It involves breathing in for four seconds, holding the breath for six, seven seconds, and exhaling for eight. Emotional awareness or mindfulness is a set of techniques that you can learn with a therapist, group, or even by yourself that help you purposely and without judgment move your attention to the present moment and the thoughts, feelings, and experiences you are having here and right now. The aim of mindfulness is to be more fully available to life as it actually is instead of what you worry or deem it to be. You can actually work mindfulness exercises into meditation if you're somebody who self-harms, cutting specifically, there's a trick. If you like seeing the blood, you can put ice on your skin, put the ice and food coloring, red food coloring, and run it across your skin, and it'll give you the same look. If you're really not doing well, please text the crisis line and seek help.